Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the climbing stairs problem. You're climbing a staircase. It takes n steps to reach the top. Each time, you can either climb one or two steps. In how many distinct ways can you climb to the top? Note, given n will be a positive integer. So here, they give you an example. The input is 2, that means that there are two stairs. The output is 2, that means that there are two ways to climb to the top. You can either go one step plus one step and you are at the top, or you can go two steps directly. So I'm going to teach you this. I'm going to show you a picture. If n equals 1, the input is 1, that means that there's only one stair. So in how many ways can you get there? In only one way. You can go one step, and you are at the top. If n equals 2, um, that means that there are two stairs. So in how many ways can you get to the top? In two ways. You can either go one step and one step and you are at the top or you can go two steps directly and you are at the top in this case n equals six so this is a larger example let's say that you are at the top you are at the stair n or at the n stair so to get here that means that before you were either here or here because you can either go one step at a time or two steps so that means that you were either here or here so the number of ways to get to the top is equal to the number of ways um, from here plus the number of ways from here. That's going to give you the number of ways to get here. So um, that means that this is very similar to the Fibonacci problem. So as you know, the Fibonacci sequence is the sequence that the first two numbers can be 0 or 1, or they are 0 or 1, and every number after that is the sum of the previous two numbers. So I'm going to show you this here. So you can see this is the Fibonacci sequence, and this is also the Fibonacci sequence. Sometimes um, it starts at 0, and sometimes it starts at 1. In this case, for this problem, it starts at 1. So that means that we can use the same method that we used before to calculate the Fibonacci, the Fibonacci number. What we want to find is the nth, the nth there, which is the nth Fibonacci number, starting from 1, not from 0. So we can use recursion. We can apply the Fibonacci recursive formula, but that would be exponential in time. The time complexity would be too high. It would be big O of 2 to the n. If we use memoization, we can improve the time complexity um, to big O of n, but then we would have to use big O of n space as well. But actually, we don't even have to use um, we don't even have to use an array or a data structure. We can use a few variables to calculate uh, the n stair. So what we can do is that we can have uh, uh, two variables a initialized to one and b initialized to one, and then a loop. Uh, that goes all the way to the nth there and for for example if we are here we know that the number of ways to get to this place is the number of ways to get from um, from n minus 1 plus the number of ways to get from n minus 2 so we can add up a plus b and that's going to give us the number of ways to get here so without further ado I'm going to show you how to write the code so as I said I need integer a gets a value of 1 b gets a value of 1 so a is here and B is here initially so now I have to start at the third position so I'm gonna have my loop for integer i gets a value of 2 starting at the third position i is less than or equal to n I have to go all the way to the nth there plus plus i so as you know um, the number of ways to get to this there is the number of ways uh, to get uh, to this plus the number of ways to get to this, so it's, a, it's the sum, so integer sum gets a value of a plus b, then I have to update my variable, a gets a value of b, and b gets a value of the sum. So as you know, I have to update it because um, every number is the sum of the previous two numbers, so for the next for the next iteration, I will know how many ways to get uh, to that place by adding them up. And by the end, I just have to return b. b is going to have the total number of ways to get to the n there. I'm going to run the code. It seems to be working fine. I'm going to submit the solution. Alright, 
0 milliseconds faster than 100% of Java online submissions for climbing stairs. So as you can see, this is working perfectly. The time complexity is big of n, the space complexity is big of 1. There's another solution that uses mathematics um, in order to calculate this, um, and it's also an interesting solution. Uh, please press the like button, don't forget to subscribe, and see you next time.